Hey, how's everybody doing today? This is Ken. Welcome to the Information Nation. Hey, I don't know how many of you know this, but George Soros, uh, he convened Brenton Woods II. Now, in case you don't know what Brenton Woods is, that's... Uh, the original one is where they created the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. <clears throat> so he conf convened Bretton Woods too, in order to make the, he, he states right here, the dollar no longer to reserve currency. Alan Dykes from InfoWars wrote this article on April 9th. But he makes a statement in here which is very interesting. Uh, he says, uh, Soros prescribed more debt for the U.S., urging against calls to shrink the budget. There's a very strong push to tighten the budget as a way of reducing government spending. In my opinion, the country could actually absorb more debt in order to get the economy going. If you have a growing economy, you can tolerate a higher level of debt. These bankers are so full of BS, it's not even funny. You know, that's like saying, hey, I don't have any money because I'm... <coughs> I'm at the bottom of the pool for my debt. You know, I'm drowning down here. And the banker says, oh, hey, you can absorb more until you get things rolling again. You know, this has been going on for a long time. This is nothing new. Uh, I read a book called uh, The 5,000 Year Leap, in case anybody would like to buy it. It's a very interesting book. It's about the founding of our country and our founders. And... Uh, Here's what, the, what, what was what said in the book. Uh, Thomas Jefferson uh, stated, If the American people ever allow banks to control the issuance of their currency, first by inflation, then by deflation, the banks and corporations will grow up around them, will deprive the people of all property until their children will wake up homeless on a continent their fathers occupied. The issuing power of money should be taken from the banks and restored to Congress and the people to whom it belongs. Now, this is on page 188 of 5,000 Year Leap. The, he also stated in here that uh, banks themselves were doing business on capital assets, three-fourths of which were fictitious. Here comes your fiat money. And what he said was, uh, well, Jefferson foresaw that the banks would inflate the economy by loaning out fictitious paper money with no assets behind it. This would boom the economy. Then when the fin financiers had lured borrowers into a precarious position, they would call for a bust and foreclose on property for which the bank had virtually furnished nothing. You get what Sor Soros has done this before. This isn't the first time Soros has done this. And this goes back years. This goes back to Thomas Jefferson. This fictitious capital is now to be lost and to fall on somebody. It, the bank, must take on those who have property to meet it, and probably on less cautious part, who, not aware of impending catastrophe, have suffered themselves to contract or to be in debt, and must also sacrifice their property for the value many times the amount of debt. We have been truly sowing the wind and are now reaping the whirlwind. The, the amazing thing about this is, this has been going on for a long time. This isn't the first time it's happened. This isn't the first time Soros has done this. He's known as the man who beat the Bank of England. This man is out to do nothing more than line his own pockets and screw you in the, in the process. He's part of the New World Order. And very plainly, we've got to get rid of these clowns. Ron Paul is right when he says that the federal government according to our Constitution, is the only ones to coin money, and we need to put something behind that money. Either silver or gold has to be the guarantee of our money. Now, these guys have been doing it and doing it and doing it. They're going to collapse this economy, and they're going to take everything they want to take. These bankers are nothing but a bunch of frauds. They have screwed the people in countries before. Now they're doing it to us. That's my opinion on that matter. Hey, on another thing, uh, I'd like to give you an update on uh, Robert Tyler. Uh, well, first I want to make a correction. Robert Tyler is not in the service. His two brothers are Marine Corps captains. One flies a CH-53, and uh, 
I can't remember what the other one does. But uh, his father, Steve, sent me an email, said uh, Robert had his wrist, wrist surgery today. This is April 9th. And the doctor said he'll be, uh, he'll be fine. He now has a metal, metal plate in his right wrist. It'll make rehab on his back a little harder due to making it uh, due to taking it easy on his right wrist. Right wrist. <coughs> the next day on April the 10th, the latest news, his surgery for his back is scheduled for Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Great news, he will, uh, they will remove the, uh, the hose from his nose to his stomach sometime today. His pancreas is working again. So I want to keep you updated on Robert. He's doing well, but, but please keep your prayers going. He needs all the prayers. We, we don't know if he's ever going to walk again. But uh, I want to thank every, all, my, all my listeners out there uh, for praying for Robert. Hey, this is Ken for the Information Nation. Once again, thank you very much. Hey, you have a good day. We'll see you in a few days. Bye-bye.